Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today, we are going to be investigating the heavy barrel attachment on the Mark II weapons by doing some in-game tests. Now, when you go to the weapon station in your MOC or Avenger, and you scroll to the heavy barrel attachment, you'll notice that when you hover over the attachment, the stat bar for range goes up, so we're going to be testing if it actually does increase the range of the weapon. So what I've done is performed a test on each weapon that can have the heavy barrel equipped, except for the snipers, which I'll talk about a little bit later, and I tested the damage drop off range without the heavy barrel, then I tested the damage drop off range with the heavy barrel equipped. And before I get into the test results, I want to say that these may not be completely accurate because as with all testing, there is always going to be human error involved because no one is perfect. And I also want to thank my friend JSM Racecar for helping me with the testing for this video. So with all that said, let's go over the results. So the Assault Rifle Mark II is normally a 9 shot kill, and without the heavy barrel attachment on, it drops off to a 10 shot kill at around 55 meters. When you equip the heavy barrel, it will turn into a 10 shot kill at around 70 meters, which is a 15 meter or 27% increase in optimal range. The Carbine Rifle Mark II takes 11 shots to kill at optimal range. Without the heavy barrel, the damage will drop off to a 12 shot kill at approximately 56 meters. When you equip the heavy barrel, the damage drops off to a 12 shot kill at around 72 meters. This is a 16 meter difference and in percentage form, about a 28.5% increase. Up next we have the Special Carbine. This weapon in optimal range also takes 11 shots to kill. Without the heavy barrel, the damage drops off to a 12 shot kill at 55 meters. When you equip the heavy barrel and do the same test, it becomes a 12 shot kill near 70 meters, which is a 15 meter increase and about a 27% increased optimal range. Moving on to the Bullpup Rifle. This thing takes 11 shots to kill another player with its damage drop off without the heavy barrel equipped being 56 meters, and with it equipped around 72 meters. Again, a 16 meter increase or a 28.5% increase in optimal range. Moving away from the assault rifles, the Combat MG is normally an 8 shot kill and without the heavy barrel equipped it will drop off to a 9 shot kill near 61 meters. And when the heavy barrel is equipped, it will drop off to a 9 shot kill at around 77 meters, which is again a 16 meter or about a 26.5% increase. The SMG is a pretty bad weapon as it normally kills in 14 shots at its optimal range, and it's a little shorter than the AR's optimal range. Without the heavy barrel, it will drop off to a 15 shot kill at around 40 meters, and with the heavy barrel, damage will drop off at 50 meters a 10 meter increase and an exact 25% increase to optimal range. So now that we have all of the results, let's put all of the information on one table to compare everything. So despite the flat range increase for all of the assault rifles being practically the same, the SMG's lower optimal range getting less of a range increase indicates that the heavy barrel increases range by a percentage value, and not just a flat number. If you take the same percentage of a bigger number, you're going to get a bigger increase and vice versa for a smaller number. My percentage values are kind of all over the place, and that is of course due to human error, but to get a more accurate consistent percentage value based off of my testing, let's take the average percentage across all of the stats. And that calculates to be around 27% when you round it. 27% seems like kind of an odd number to use when programming something like this, so I'm going to go ahead and say that the heavy barrel increases the optimal range of your weapon by 25%, and then blame my overestimation on human error. And now you're probably thinking, what about the snipers? Both the marksman rifle and the heavy sniper can have the heavy barrel equipped. Yes, that is true. However, the damage drop off on the heavy sniper and the marksman rifle without the heavy barrel attachments is already pretty much non-existent. If there even is an optimal range, it's way out of your render distance, so you're never going to run into that problem. And if you were to equip the heavy barrel, it would increase the range by 25% of that already ginormous number, so testing this attachment on these two weapons is physically impossible. And because you won't ever be sniping at ranges that far to notice the difference, the heavy barrel is virtually pointless on the heavy sniper and marksman rifle. The only thing that you will notice is the appearance change. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.